Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Lord Man FJ. Now, the beta version of One UI 5 dropped last night. Now, this is the earliest I've ever seen Samsung do this. Um, now, so this is a, the, the first initial wave, and so there's not a whole lot that you can see visually, but let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what we can find. Okay, now this is the, the S22 Ultra, and the beta version has rolled out to all of the S22 versions, and it started out in uh, Korea and Germany. Now, somehow I was able to get it last night when I went into Samsung Members, so if you're interested in doing that, check out Samsung Members, download the app, and you might find a banner where you can get this. All right, now, let me just show you that this is Android 13. Let's go into Settings. Let's go into About Phone. And let's go to software version and as you can see android 13 right there in one ui 5.0 okay so it is the official version there you got the security patch uh android level uh august 1 all right now um not much has changed in terms of the visual looks of this uh ui now it is snappy and um you know it's i don't have any problems or anything the, the reception works you know, all the radios work pretty well. Now, what I did notice is that when I first uh, loaded this, the home screen, I wasn't able to get to the home screen. So uh, you'll find that the home screen might disappear. So what I did was I went into settings. I went into uh, apps. I went into choose default apps. And then I went to home app. And when I got to one UI, let me get back there again. Um, so if you go to One UI Home, what I did was I force stopped and then I went into storage and I cleared the cache and I cleared the data. When I did that, it worked perfectly. All right. So if anybody's downloading this for the first time and you have problem using the home screen or it won't show up, go into apps, go into One UI Home, clear the cache and the data and uh, it should work just fine. So I had no problems since I did that. Now, when you go into the last update page, the, the software update page, you can go to last update and you can see the last update you installed. And I installed this on August 5th. And as you can see, One UI uh, 5 upgrade, and this is the beta version. So these, this is a list of everything that has supposed to be uh, improved on the One UI update. Now you can stack widgets. I, I was able to do that, but a lot of this stuff I haven't been able to reproduce and I assume that's because it's the first beta all this stuff will come in future beta updates but this is what you can expect when you uh, download One UI 5.0 all right so I expect that all of this will be available in the in the, in the uh, final version you know they got things such as um, being able to customize the notification of certain apps so that's that's probably going to be helpful and you can stack widgets like um, iOS. So that, that does work. So if you go to widgets and let's say, you, and the widgets got to be the same size, by, by the way, uh, so you can do that. So let's just use this calendar widget. This is a 4.1 widget right here. Let's load that, right? And then let's find another widget. Um, let's go to this digital well-being. Let's go to this device care widget. And let's put that there. If you just add this onto that, then you got a stack. Now you can you can scroll through the widgets there, right? So kind of like the smart widget, easy to set up. I think this might have been already available, but they listed it as a one thing available in this um, in this version right here. So you were not able to do that on the uh, One UI four, all right? So I tried to do it on this S twenty one, where I have a widget right here, and I want to put another widget on top of it same size widget if I go to calendar right here and I want to put a different widget there it won't let me do that all right it says no space on the page you can see that right there all right but that's a new feature that's on the uh, one UI uh, 5 okay so this is what the notification shade looks like not a whole lot of difference but the one UI 5 looks a little cleaner uh, than the one UI 4 but uh, it looks pretty similar now, when you look at the uh, visual uh, look of the device, you don't see a whole lot of difference in um, how these uh, One UI looks versus One UI uh, 5. 
Um, so uh, you're not going to see a whole lot of visual changes there. Now, uh, of course, when you do this, you're going to lose the ability to use good lock on One UI 5 because it's not uh, been updated for that yet. So you got to remember that. Okay, so that was a quick look at the One UI 5 beta. Want to let make sure you guys know what's out there. You can go ahead and check the Samsung members app to see if you can get the get it, find a banner. Uh, but I'll continue to update folks as I see new things appear in the betas that will come in the future. All right. Right now, not a lot there. All right. Now, if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for videos like this. This is Lawman FJ.